that. But at the same time, I gotta say, having these kind of like dedicated laptop size screens is pretty perfect. All right, guys, so we are back in Berlin and you know what that means. It's time for some serious food shopping, but also it's time to set up the home office and I'm pretty stoked. And everything that we traveled with or for my whole office is literally in this bag. And I already opened it because I didn't really want there to be too much pressure on some of my things. You can see there's literally four monitors in here alone. So I was like, um, whenever this is not going through TSA or something like that, it's open. Uh, Cause I don't want to, you know, break something. But anyway, this is where all the goods are. So let's see how long it takes me to kind of assemble everything. So I'm going to put pretty much everything here. I don't really think it's going to be that long. Uh, I might have to take a pause halfway through it because we're going to go to the grocery store in a little bit. But let's give it a go. And uh, the kids are loud outside. All right, so the area is more or less clear. And I got the mo most important part is you need at least two of these. And especially with the USBs because these mo uh, power the monitors um, pretty well too. If you put all the power in the laptop, you might run into some issues. I cleared up the workspace, so now I just gotta set everything up. I got the backpack here, and uh, let's dive into it. And then here's the bolt for reference. So when I'm trading and I'm streaming, I'm facing this way. And um, if you're wondering why there's blue panels in front of me, uh, read the book. I'll link it somewhere here, and it's in my reading list, but it's, uh, I think it's called like Blue Mind or something like that. As I was just referring to in the video, I was talking about this book here, Blue Mind, and that's why I have blue panels. If you're interested to see what other kind of reading lists I have, definitely check out amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Alex Winkler. This is gonna be in the video description below. Oftentimes I have people asking about my reading list, which I also have a whole entire video about. Another reason I wanted to show you guys this page is if you click here on the office tab, you can kind of see all the equipment that I'm using from my backpack to my webcam. There's a few of these that have a little bit of a caveat, for example, and I added comments on that. So for example, this is a different brand, this hub. I think I bought the hub in Germany and I didn't have see the same one in the US. Uh, there's also a few things I don't use anymore. Um, I'll say not using, not using. Actually, this one I gave my girlfriend. She loves it. I actually really liked it myself, but I found the stands to be a little bit better for my situation. Um, so yeah, all the things I'm not using uh, are here. Um, Logitech, I found nicer for traveling. It's a little bit thinner, so I use that one. Um, yeah, you see everything that I have here. Obviously, this I don't have yet. This is pending. And then here's my laptop. This joined in November last year. This is the beast, the 64 gigabytes RAM. So yeah, that's all my stuff. And uh, hopefully that will help you guys out. Um, anyway, I'm going to hook these two bad boys up here. And uh, we'll pretty much be getting started momentarily. One hour later. Super stoked. I got my little bull friend back, so I think this is going to give me good luck. Because April has been my worst month since since we ended the 25k challenge. It's been a pretty rough month, actually, so I'm pretty excited to get that behind us. I have no idea what this is for, to be honest. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for now, and then let's go ahead and get started. Woo! Here we go. Alright. I guess this would probably be the more official countdown, I would assume. Because right now is what I'm actually getting started. The rest was more like thinking, setting up, all that stuff. If anyone's wondering what this monitor is for, this is a curved monitor, it's pretty cool. But I don't really use it for trading anymore or anything like that. Um, but what I do have is I have my Xbox attached to it. So sometimes, you know, when I'm feeling a little crazy, I'll put on some Assassin's Creed Valhalla and have a good time there. But that's a whole different story. All right, let's get started here. Start the timer now. And the airport security, they hate it when I come through there. Every time, all my stuff goes like again, again, again through the scanners. This is the additional three monitors right here. That's why it's so amazing to travel with it, it's just so quick. So that's pretty much everything. I got my carpet, my mouse pad carpet. Um, oh, actually, let me see if we're filming. Yeah, we are filming. That would, be, <laughs> that would suck. That's happened to me many times in the past. It's like any, anybody will know who films checks if their camera's recording a thousand times because every time you don't check it, that's when it happens. I got my three plates. They were looking at these plates like crazy. They're like, what are these things? These are the plates that are going to be the stance. It's the base. It's a pretty good piece of metal. The, the, the pull will come in here and then all that fun stuff in there happens. 
What else we got? Some exciting times. We got my glove. Actually, I got a few gloves now. Oh, I already lost my other one. This is why I have a few gloves. I got another glove here. Um, this is for my wrist in case, you know, I work too much, then I can start getting some carpal tunnel. Um, oh, I got a lot of unnecessary things in this that's not even really work-related. Um, sometimes you just want to unpack everything first. I got some good quotes here, which we can throw up later. Um, throw that in the pile. This is really, this is, this is really the jumbo mess, though. Look at this. This is... And it, it was neat near, but when I originally packed it, the, the problem is at the TSA, it's like, do I got to get back in there and it's a little stressful? This is my traveling Ethernet cable. I don't go anywhere without this. And trust me, you're wondering, Alex, why is it so long? I've used up all of it. I, ha I, went, I once went to a router on the first floor. I was on the second floor. It was going through um, the window and it was just enough when it reached the computer. So... I don't use it here because I have another e dedicated Ethernet cable in this house, but um, if you're a trader or if, you, if you're doing live streaming or anything like that, you've got to, got to, got to have Ethernet cable. It's just like, there's no, there's no other way around it. So these are the two cables that connect the um, two additional monitors. So let's put that over here. I'm probably not going to be going as quick as I should be going and maybe down the right order. This is... This is a nightmare. This is going to be taken care of. Um, this is really cool. This is one of my favorite things. Um, actually, there's a lot of stuff here that's kind of my favorite. But this one, this laptop stand, I, I don't know if I could, you know, this, everything is based off of this laptop stand. And it's so easy to form. So, all you got to do is ram it in here. Is when you want to show somebody something that's pretty much it and that's what that's like the basis of this whole structure right here so this is the part you i like to do kind of quickly but i'll kind of show you guys for reference um so these are the stands this is what everything's kind of based upon right here there it is and then so one of these is behind my laptop so one of these is then you pull it out here. So one goes behind my laptop and the other two are on the sides on a lower height. Uh, and that's how that happens. So here you can see this thing, my big stand, and then one goes pretty much right behind it. So I'll leave one behind it already. So every time I pack, I have my screens in order. So this one goes here, this one goes in the middle and this one to the right. And the reason I do that is that way my computer knows when I turn the computer on, which monitor is which. Otherwise, I have to constantly reconfigure it. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you know, it's, you know, I'm all about saving those three minutes here and there. And I think a lot of people would probably agree. This is my keyboard, the Logitech. I gotta say, I love this thing. It's super cool, sleek, easy. It's, it's it got some serious weight to it though, which is nice. But for traveling, maybe not so nice, but um, it's cool. I, I, I don't, I'm not complaining about the weight. I think it adds a little bit of credibility to it, a little bit of something you like. One of my favorite parts about this laptop here, this is the Electronics 15 Max. Um, totally Ramboed out, 64 gigabytes RAM, all that fun stuff. One of the super the lightest laptops out there. All the important ports are on the back. This is awesome. So when my laptop is, you know, action ready with the three additional monitors, so four total monitors, there is not one thing coming out on either side. I do have this little mouse. Oh no, what's this for? I forgot, I think it's for my backup mouse. I do have this one here for, for that, but I could technically put it behind my laptop because I have one of those hubs, right? Um, that's in this pile. Here's, I have two hubs. So I technically don't need this here, but sometimes I, I put it there for ease. Either way, I can just go like this on my laptop and the other side it's clear and that's really what makes me. There's like some papers and documents in here and sometimes I'm like, I, I don't know, do I need those? But I don't think so, I think that sounded pretty heavy. Hold on, maybe, there's, maybe there is more in here. Oh no, that was just the water bottle. That's what that was. The thud is gone. Okay, let's set this bad boy up. Maybe now should be the starting time, but let me not move back too much. 
All right, so here are the clips I gotta put on top of each one. It's pretty quick, but let me just show you guys what that looks like. Gotta snap it in there, push this thing, screw it on. And it looks like, you know, kind of flimsy maybe in the video, but it's pretty sweet, very sturdy. And then you can put the monitor in here, right? And you can put it any which way and it fits my, you know, HD full screen uh, monitor. So definitely, definitely, definitely does the trick. Right, so this is why everything's moved forward a little bit. So I can literally just go behind my setup and, you know, configure all the cables here. And that really, really makes my life a little bit easier. I just want to show you these things. So I have two different screens. This is one of them, the VOTAC. It gets the job done. If you're like big into like video editing, I would not do it on this one. It has not so nice dark space. Um, you can really see like if you're on a website, there's like different layers of the same color and you're like, mm, this is looking a little bit weird. But if you just have like TD Ameritrade think or swim on it, totally works, you know, but um, so these, these do kind of get the job done, but it could be better. I also have uh, this one. This one's really nice. This is the Asus one, a little bit more expensive. This one's really sweet. Um, I really can't complain with this one. Really good, a good hardware there. Before I tweak anything, I just get it all set up first, right? Like this goes here. Let me take this off. I'm gonna be cleaning all the screens as well. Okay, I unpaused it. I quickly got some of this stuff. Uh, so for glass, I got a little cleaner here. I figured, you know what, actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of the glass now because it's gonna be harder to clean once everything's set up. These things. I also wanna be opening up my laptop. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow and cleaning it. There's a lot of dust that accumulates inside of laptops and they will sometimes overheat the laptop. And it's something you want to do. I have to do it all the time, but I used to never do it. And then I realized you're actually supposed to do it maybe at least once a year. Um, it does make a big difference. Tomorrow's the big day. No, wait, that's not true. Tomorrow's Sunday. So it's Sunday the 25th. Monday the 26th of April. We are back, 11 days of no streaming, nothing. So I'm stoked to be back, but it was a good break. You know, it was a good break, kind of boring. <laughs> no, it was like, I just wasn't doing that much else. You know, it wasn't like tons of nature or anything around me. So I was, you know, still watching sometimes the market and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, I got a teleprompter and I don't know, how cool it's going to be or how much it's going to work. I'll definitely do a review on this one, I guess, at one point. Here it is. Uh, I'm not so much like an unboxing channel or anything like that, but, you know, I have a lot of equipment and it's just constantly growing. So I figure it could be interesting to a few people. I know people love checking out other, other people's trading stations. I know I personally do. Um, it's always kind of inspirational. So, you know, why not share it as well? So this is my this is my little computer mat. I got this one actually when I was in Dubai on a study abroad trip way back in college days. So this is a little fun thing. All right, I'm gonna go to the back of this, set up some of the hardware. This shouldn't take too long, honestly. It's a pretty quick process. I got my Ethernet cable back here. This thing is built pretty much into this room at this point. So this is a fat daddy Ethernet cable, but since we have DSL, like it doesn't really use nearly its potential, which is kind of sad, but you know, is what it is.
also what I like about this stand is you can you what I do is I weave a lot of things through this stand and I feel like that um, like here in the bottom I don't know if you guys can see it but pretty much underneath it let's stick my hand through it um, I have a few cables going through and I've actually find it quite nice once everything's set up you almost don't see the cables from where I stand so it's actually it feels really nice everything's kind of in the background kind of hidden The reason I got the Asus uh, screen, uh, I forgot about why I did it. The reason I got the Asus screen is because it uses only USB-C to USB-C. So that works with my laptop. The problem is it, once I added the other monitors, so I'll have two more on top of that. So three mo monitors total, you guys know that. The other two, if they were also USB-C to USB-C, it would use too much power for my laptop and now it would start flickering. So what you do is use external power and that solves that issue. I think my light here is flickering as well, at least with the camera. Um, oh well, it is what it is. It's gonna be a quick little video. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. So I have two monitors that use external power and I have one monitor, the Asus one, that uses pretty much internal from my laptop. The other ones use go right into the um, the power banks and you could see those USB slots. So that's why I needed the USB uh, slots. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So there's a few things that aren't fully set up yet, but uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, I just started the video over just so I have two. Um, let me go a little further back. So um, monitor one, obviously the, tr uh, the laptop, monitor two, and then three, mouse pad here i use a cable one so i don't have to worry about the charging i'll show you guys what this all looks like booted up in a second i'll do a second round i gotta say this is really cool i started having an extra cable here so if i use my phone i want to quickly plug my phone in this is really convenient and then let me show you, show you guys the back before i kind of boot it all up this is this is pretty much hub number one this is the, the utex smart um yeah i think that's that's the the brand there's also this one um you know it's okay just kind of adds a few more USB outlets. I would probably think about getting that kind of the cube one, but uh, that's kind of maybe next phase. I, I don't know. Um, to me, everything works now for the last, you know, couple months I've had this setup, so I don't necessarily need it. Obviously the uh, stream cam here from Logitech and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and boot it up and I'll, I'll do kind of the same tour again in a second here. Oh yeah, and this is kind of what I was talking about. Here you can see the cables all going in the back. This is the hub. This is an HDMI that goes, I think, to this second screen. This is uh, the power, and then this is the Ethernet. So it's kind of just all coming out of here, um, and nothing on the sides. And that's what I like so much. I got my keyboard here, which the on and on off button is right there. And then, uh, yeah, so let me show you guys the rest. All right, so here it is. This is the final beast. This is uh, everything set up. I basically just open the screen, make sure the uh, monitors are all in the right spot. This is that extra cable I was talking about for the phone. 
And uh, this is the screen you see me streaming in. This is a second trading monitor. And then this is usually where I have my watch list and do sometimes research. Um, and then also the chat room is here and then OBS is here. So I kind of split this one up. In the future, I'll have my teleprompter there. Um, sometimes it'll only be if I'm doing uh, certain types of maybe lessons or something like that, but I haven't really fully thought about it. Keyboard here and oh yeah, one little, I'll do one more snapshot here of how all this looks like. Um, but one thing I also have attached is a little bit of a hard drive. I think this is a 500 uh, megabyte, although there's two terabytes in this laptop. This laptop is such a beast, honestly. Um, oops. Uh, so that uh, is nice for video editing. And again, you know, just really, really clean back here. Really, really simple. It kind of looks like a lot of cables, but um, I could probably get rid of like, obviously the mouse cable and things like that. But um, I kind of rather have the mouse with the cable. And Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering what my thoughts are on a curved monitor, I gotta say, um, I'm a big fan. I think it's absolutely amazing. And uh, I think if I had like a very stationary setup so I didn't travel or anything like that, I would probably consider getting maybe a really, really big curve monitor or something like that. But at the same time, I gotta say, having these kind of like dedicated laptop size screens is pretty perfect because the website, I mean, the internet is pretty much built for that. So it kind of fits everything. Um, you know, I think gaming would be probably a bit more fun on a larger curved screen, but overall, you know, everything fits so well. And if like, I do a lot of developing in my free time and, uh, let's say I have some code here, I have, let's say stock overflow here, some more code here. It's like, and you know, whatever I'm doing here, it's just like, it's everything really, really works together well. So I think it's the perfect portable setup and I've been working on portable setups for years. And this one is uh, so far the one I'm most proud of and the one that kind of, you know, gets the most done uh, productivity wise and is just so easy to carry. I mean, it's just so light. It all literally fits in this backpack, which I find is mind blowing. Um, this is a, I think it's like a 20, 20 um, lib. Um, I'll just post the link to it here in the video description below, but it's the Nomadic uh, Travel one. I think it's a 20 or 25. Um, there is the expandable pouch here, but you don't need to expand it to fit everything. Um, yeah, all right, guys. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Pretty much it. In 50 minutes now, I just gotta put this in it, but in Berlin, I will be unpacking it. See you there. That's everything. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, time to edit the video.